hello lovely people welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a little bit of cosplay DIYing putting together and thrift shopping my goal is to try to thrift as much as possible that I can for the tremendous list of cosplays I have like I actually have like like a list of all the things I need I am doing uh one or two Bungo Stray Dogs characters I'm trying to find Sigma stuff specifically and then also I have like a list of has-been hotel characters that I really want to get cosplays for. We are currently at one of my preferred thrift stores and it's a smaller one but they are having a weekend 99 cent sale where everything's 99 cents and I'm really hoping fingers crossed we find some good stuff. I just wore a simple tank top and shorts so I could like try things on over my clothes if I need to but it's also Angel Dust's birthday so Fingers crossed we find some stuff for him. Okay, so I kind of like this top, but it wasn't anything cosplay related, so I just ignored it. I saw this shirt and I was like, old Granny Alistair vibes? Anyone? Yes? No? Okay. And then I saw this shirt and I was just really confused on how it's worn. <laughs> this shirt was giving major design like cozy vibes, and I don't know what this shirt was giving, but I feel like Angel would wear it at some point. I considered this shirt for Sigma, but the sleeves just weren't as like bell sleeved enough, so I just ignored it. I really liked this comfy denim shirt. It was like a soft denim and I debated getting it. And then I had to look at the plates because I've been looking for a cute plate, but I just don't want like a whole set. I just want like one. This one was a contender, but it had this weird like divider thing in the middle of it that I just wasn't liking, but it was cute. This vase I almost got, oh, hello, <laughs> but I just didn't know if I needed it or anything, but it was only 99 cents. I don't know. And I was standing in line in checkout before I browsed. I didn't even look at the bottom, so I quickly rushed over to look at all the shorts, and I found these black shorts. I found two pairs, and I was like, these might work. These might be contender for angel dust, so I, like, I couldn't really try them on over my shorts, so I just held them up, and I was like, mm. I think this might work. Okay, so I got the black shorts that are a possible contender for Angel Dust, but I couldn't really try those on that well, like over my jean shorts. So I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna fit right. We'll see. I'll do a try on haul of what I got when I get home. Cause they need to be like booty shorts for Angel. So I need them to be booty bootylicious enough. <laughs> I have 30 minutes until I need to be at home. I don't know if I should go ahead and go try Goodwill now or if I should wait. I don't know, I feel like going right now. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I went and my first stop was the Blazers. Tell me why they have every color except white. I almost got this shirt for velvet, but it was a little too stained for that price, so I just left it. And then I found this hat. Oh my god, this hat. Ron Poe. Hear me out. Ron Poe. And, and, and then this. I don't really know what to say. Tell me this exact lighthouse was not the iconic early 2000s bathroom motif. And then of course I looked at glassware again. And I finally found the dresses. I have been looking for dresses in the store for like half an hour. I wish this dress had been white. I would have got it for Vaggie. I was looking at this trench coat for quite a while, deciding if I could cannibalize it for Sigma, but I ended up leaving it and I'm glad I did for future reasons. Shorts are working. These definitely work for Angel. They have the um, correct amount of booty. And then I got this halter top that will work for Velvet if I decide to do Velvet because she's on my potential roster. I'm just gonna put the uh, the red hearts on the boobies right here. <laughs> These are non-cosplay thrifts that I got that I just thought I'd show you. But I got this top which is just I really wanted like a comfy at home top that was like loose fitting and like flowy. Got these shorts. They have pockets. The only thing is they're semi see-through um, on the booty. So I think these will just be beach shorts for me. Oh, and then I also, I did end up getting this hat, which is a cosplay find because I'm going to remove this whole strappy buckle thing. And then I'm gonna make it a rompo hat. And then I also got this white button up just simple white button up and I'm going to use it for Atsushi and Chuya. Uh, I already have a white button up but this one is actually softer so and I feel like it might be a little more better 
fitted for me instead of as baggy as the one I have. The Bungo people wear way too many layers. I don't know what's up with their layers, but thinner the better. I did end up getting this denim over shirt thing. And I specifically got this because it makes me think of like my childhood and my dad because he always wore like denim shirts. So it's just like a cozy little comfy vibe. All right, day two of thrift shopping. I found another trench coat and I actually was trying this on and put it in my cart even. But then when I was looking through the dresses, I found this. I don't even know what this is. It's like some wrap dress or something, but it was already sleeveless and I was holding it up and I was like, this, this will work. So I immediately got that. Then I continued my perilous journey, desperately trying to find just a simple white shift dress for baggy. Any kind of white dress I was looking for. I didn't care if it was too big or not. I couldn't find any dresses, so then I went to pants. I was looking for a pair of red and black pants for velvet, which I knew I was not going to find striped pants. But I found red pants, and I was thinking I could probably paint them with black stripes. I ended up going with the dark red because I feel like it fit better with the, her aesthetic. And then, oh my god, this bow tie was literally jumping out at me, begging to jump into my basket. And I was so excited I found this. It was perfect for angel dust. I saw that black bow tie like perfect condition black adjustable bow tie i went to the register to check out with my items and because there was no tag on it she was not allowed to sell it i begged i pleaded and i could not get her to sell it to me so perfect i'm devastated as consolation for not getting the bow tie i got myself wendy's and let the stormy clouds comfort me in my sorrows Okay, now on to the true DIY part of this video. I am making Sigma's overcoat. I thought this would be perfect for it. I didn't have to do anything with the sleeves. They were already taken off. All I had to do was cut the ends to make them match and add buttons on the front. So first I just lined up where I wanted everything to be and I estimated where the button should go. I hand sewed them on. I first did this in white, but then I later changed it took them off and changed it to black thread so if you notice that difference that's why <laughs> i just laid the fabric over where the buttons were and lined up where the button hole should be and made small cuts and made sure the buttons fit through them and looked right before i sewed up the edges very crappily just so the fabric wouldn't rip or tear more and the buttons would sit securely then i awkwardly stared in the mirror trying to figure out where i wanted the cuts on the bottom to be and made sure everything lined up good and I simply used a ruler and pencil to make my lines. Like, that's it. I'm just estimating where I want everything to be, not being really, like, specific, I don't know, but I wanted to make sure I used a ruler so I could make it even on the other side with the same measurements. I think it, I think it came out pretty good. I think I did pretty well. I, I definitely put it on and looked in the mirror before I cut it to make sure it looked good. And then a lot of seam ripping. A lot of seam ripping with tiny little scissors. I do not have a seam ripper, so this was a very monotonous, tiresome process. And I was really happy with how it came out. And by the way, I did not cut along the lines. I cut a little past the lines so that I can sew them over on the sides to make it seamless. And look at that. Look how cute it is. It's so perfect. I'm going to add a slit up the back that will be the back slit, but it's so cute. I love it so far. And now a hoard of packages. So most of the items that I ordered were accessories that are pretty much impossible to find thrifting because they're just such specific accessories. I did get a couple clothing pieces though that I was just having no luck finding. Okay, so this, hear me out. Just hear me out, okay? <laughs> I sold some stuff on Mercari and then it advertised to me this maid dress for like really cheap. 
and I just couldn't not. I couldn't not, guys, okay? <laughs> All right, so here's what I have for Baby Girl Sigma so far. I am obsessed. The coat came out so good, and I really am happy with the, like, floofy bell sleeves. I think it works great. I would say this is 90% done. All right, on to Angel Dust. Womp. This is sadly like the least put together outfit I have. I do have a wig, however, not styled. I just haven't found a good option for his coat and I really want it to be perfect. So Angel will just have to have his moment in a future video. I also forgot that I did have boots I could wear with this. I have two options I can do, either these like wedge boots or these knee high heel boots. I don't know, you guys let me know. All right, this is probably my most put together cosplay in this video so far. I am obsessed. I when I tell you, oh my god, I I don't know which one I love more, Sigma or Vaggy. Like Vaggy is just killing it. I think the like wig is helping Vaggy come together. The wig is not styled. Okay, don't come at me. It is not styled whatsoever yet. I have to do a lot to it. My bow is also extremely crooked because I just threw it on there. But it looks so good. I would say she is probably 90% done as well. Now my potential velvet, she needs a lot of work. I still need to paint black stripes on the pants and then add red hearts on the boobies. Yeah, that's just where she's at. So yeah, that that's it for this uh, cosplay vlog. Um, yeah, that's what we have. I'll probably make another one when I get more pieces put together for the rest of them. Bye! <laughs> Hey. <laughs>